is almost 520. Uh, give yourself some extra time this morning oh, yeah. yeah, when heading out the door. You're going to need it. How long is this fog expected to stick around, Netta? Yeah, you know, it's usually until 9, 10 o'clock, which is why the advisory expires at 10 this morning. But, uh, you know, fog does its own thing. And unless we get pretty good warming this morning, it might stick around longer than that. So we're going to obviously watch it for you very closely. This is what you're seeing right here. Looks like some of that mist. I was told this is the camera at the Hotel Dell. You can't obviously see much through the fog. So this morning, what you'll be dealing with as it kind of pans over. You can tell it's misty. It's foggy. The clouds are sitting really low along our coastline. So let's show you what it looks like from San Miguel. An opposite effect for many inland areas. That's where you're actually doing fine. So places like El Cajon this morning, uh, parts of Otay Mesa, things are looking good. You don't have the clouds sitting super low. It's mainly right there along the coast where we're at less than a quarter mile visibility. So again, that advisory expires at 10. We have onshore flow. It got here like clockwork yesterday around 3 p.m. About 45 minutes later, here come the clouds. Marine layers here, cooler temperatures are also in your forecast for the next several days. So right now, visibility here showing a third mile in Kearney Mesa and Miramar, Carlsbad and Oceanside. So as you see that stretch along the five, certainly going to be a slow ride for you. But Fallbrook, Ramona, El Cajon doing fine. Downtown San Diego, right by the airport, it looks like it's lifting for the moment. But I certainly do advise checking on those flights. You may get those alerts that you'll have a delay due to this dense fog. It's tough for pilots to get through this, as you can imagine. So uh, it's along the coast, inland and to the mesas. That's where the Weather Service has issued that advisory. So it's not as far inland as some communities like Ramona. Looking at our cloud coverage for the day, it'll be mainly cloudy. Here we are looking at around 1.30 today, starting to see a little bit of clearing. So you might get a few hours this afternoon of that sunshine, and then the marine layer comes right back. So that's the weather pattern we're under. Uh, not the you know past several days with the offshore flow and the high pressure now it's different we're dealing with tropping to the north pushing in west winds and there's all that moisture now coming back so it might feel a little better may not have to lather on as much lotion as you may have had to do the past few days we're in the 80s the 90s full saturation there in Carlsbad so that light drizzle that mist is also coming through in some spots especially along the coast our wind speeds as you see they're not too strong unless you are east of our mountains but it's the direct that makes all the difference, as we know. So 57 degrees right now downtown, 54 in Del Mar, 51 in Chula Vista. So that sea breeze coming through with water temperatures in the low 60s. You can see why temperatures right there at our coast will be in the 60s. Upper 60s in National City, Chula Vista, San Ysidro. Now inland, El Cajon, 75. Same with Ramona. Not as hot, obviously, as what we had. About a 10 to 15 degree drop in these temperatures. So a big cool down is now here, and it's going to last for a while. In fact, take a look at the eight day and you will see that temperatures at the coast will stay in the 60s all the way through Saturday with the marine layer each morning and then inland valleys you'll be down into about 70 degrees by Friday Saturday that warm up is coming Sunday but it's a one day kind of thing before we drop off a little bit more on Monday Tuesday there may be a cutoff low by the early next week that we'll be watching for with the possibility of some rain chances but for the next five days this will be the story clouds in the morning sunshine in the afternoon